I've spent more time playing In Death Unchained on the Oculus Quest than any other game or experience. It's true, I am a roguelite fanatic who loves to crawl through anything that resembles an endless dungeon, knowing I only have one life to live to get to the highest score I possibly can until meeting my eventual demise. So why does Siege of Heaven, the new free DLC Super Bright released last week, make In Death Unchained a better experience? Let's talk about it. Howdy y'all, my name is Bo, and the clips I'm sharing today came directly from our Twitch stream this past weekend, where we explore a variety of VR games and experiences every Thursday and Saturday night at 6 p.m. Central. Click on the link in the description below to follow us on Twitch to join in the conversation as we explore the vast and growing multiverse in VR. Okay, to answer our question of why Siege of Heaven makes In Death Unchained a better experience, we have to start with what this DLC is. I want you to imagine that the Hunger Games and Plants vs. Zombies met up, fell wildly and passionately in love, and had a cute little VR baby that became this tower defense archery skill game that is Siege of Heaven. You are a lone archer that must ring the bell to kick off 15 increasingly difficult waves, bringing hordes of monsters through the zone with one goal in mind, cross the gates of heaven. The problem is, every time one of them slips through, your health bar deteriorates one tick at a time. And here lies the challenge. In the core game of In Death Unchained, you start out with only a bow and arrow, but eventually you're able to unlock a crossbow. The crossbow is much easier to control and quickly became my preferred weapon of choice. But in Siege of Heaven, there is no crossbow. This means the only way to save Heaven is to level up your skills with a bow, which is one heck of a shoulder and arm workout. Each wave is only a few minutes long and a full 15 cycles is typically no more than 20 minutes, depending on how much time you take in recovery between waves. Oh, okay. I need a stretch. But this is what makes the DLC so brilliant. By providing a more casual archery experience, it opens up in depth to a more casual player. You don't have to worry about something sneaking up behind you. There's only the hordes of monsters working their way towards the gates, and it's up to you to stop them. My first session didn't get very far before they broke through the gates, but by the next, I got better. And I got better. And I got better. My accuracy increased. I learned to use special arrows to my advantage, such as incursion to set an explosive trap, or hand of God to slow the baddies down so I had time to take them out before they slipped through my grasp. And then it clicked. This DLC is training wheels with a leaderboard that provides a real life physical response to leveling up the accuracy, timing, and stamina needed to increase my VR archery skills. Nice. Side note. I'm curious how skills learned in VR translate to real world experiences. Will learning archery in an experience like Siege of Heaven improve real life archery skills? Drop me a comment and let me know what you think. We may have to test this out in a future video. And that gives us the answer to today's question. By providing a way to improve VR archery skills in shorter burst sessions, it makes the core game more exhilarating to play as we travel deeper down the rabbit hole. As of this video, the best I've done is make it through three cycles through the core game. But if you wanna see something truly incredible, go check out Funky Show's Cycle 30 video here. Funky Show is currently holding the top spot on the leaderboard by a wide margin. In Death Unchained is currently an exclusive on the Oculus Quest Store, and you can pick it up today for $29.99, which includes the Siege of Heaven free DLC. To all my PC VR friends out there, I mourn your loss as well as there is no word of this DLC making it to the PC version yet. But I have hopes that Super Bright will cross that bridge and update the neglected PC version in the near future. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified when we release a new video as we explore the VR multiverse. Make sure to hit that like button as well if you enjoyed today's video and want to see more experiences like this one. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll see you all live on Thursday.